Welcome back everybody, Film Fan 108 here to a brand new movie hunting video and what better way to movie hunt than to go to the Dollar Tree locations. Yes, I actually heard from a few of you guys that told me that Dollar Tree has new stock of Blu-rays and DVDs and so I thought why not go and check it out, let's see what kind of selection they got, some of the newer titles, some oddball releases, some out of print stuff that you never know that Dollar Tree may find, we may luck out on a couple stuff. You you never know what we're gonna get here at guys I found some pretty cool stuff before on some of the videos so you never know what we're gonna find this time around so let's head inside and we are at our first Dollar Tree location right here guys Ooh, I am ready to do some movie hunting to go into the Dollar Tree and check out all the goodies that we can find so let's head in and check it out guys All right, guys, we are inside the Dollar Tree here, and they have a lot of stock of Blu-rays and DVDs. Holy crap. I, I guess I was not expecting this much, guys, especially this time around for the Dollar Tree, but this is quite a lot of stuff to show off, guys. Uh, you've got Beowulf, Return to the Shieldlands. Never heard of this one. I can't even tell you anything about this one. The spectacular drama rematch is one of the literature's most enduring heroes of the great warrior Beowulf. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like the animated one, but I'm not really sure about this one. Mm, maybe? Uh, I would probably skip it. Kind of looks a little cheapo to me. They got that. They've got color orange. Snow girl. And the dark crystal I've, I've never heard of this one either yeah another one of those sort of Chinese or Japanese ones that I've never seen before hmm let me know what you guys think of that one then I got that horse called warrior hero world war one hmm I know they came out with that documentary re recently, that one um, that Peter Jackson did about World War I. I gotta see that, and I do love a good, like, war documentary. Hmm. This looks good. I definitely gotta check some, some more documentaries out about that stuff. Um, Adventure Club. Ultimate Adventure. Hmm. Interesting there. The Experimentor with Peter Sarsgaard and Winona Ryder. The Stanley Milgram story? Illusion sets the stage, deception reveals the truth. Another one I haven't heard of, guys, but I really do love Winona Ryder. Shocked I haven't heard about this one, because I really do like her as an actress. I try to keep up with the stuff she's done. That's interesting. Hmm, I like the cover. Let, let me know what you guys think of that one. Uh, then, Superman Unbound. For all you DC animated lovers right there, they got that. Some Scooby-Doo here. Some monsters there. Killing Jesus. Mm. Not heard of, the, of this one. It's interesting. Uh, oh, God. Jingle All the Way 2 with Larry the Cable Guy. Oh, Jesus. I love the first Jingle All the Way. The first Jingle All the Way is great, but uh, Jingle All the Way 2 is a little bit shitty, uh, especially with Larry the Cable Guy. I'm sorry, if you guys like Larry the Cable Guy, that's cool, but he really is just a, a real pain in the ass. Ugh, I'll skip it. Um, then they got Paddington Bear. Ooh, it's not the, it's not the Paddington... Oh, this is the old school Paddington one. Yeah, like, like, yeah. I remember these ones. These sort of episodes with, with Paddington. Yeah, with the with the stop motion animation. Yeah, those, that, that, that takes me back. Very cool stuff with Paddington, man. I've got to check out the Paddington films. I've never checked them out yet, but all that. That's really awesome that they have Paddington here. Well, that's really cool. Uh, they got, let's see here. More Paddington. Indian Summer from PBS, which I have not heard of this one at all. It's be interesting. Um, a four laugh movie pack with Which Way Is Up, Brewster's Millions, Car Wash, and Bustin' Loose. You know what? I have to admit, I've seen 
two of these and I haven't seen the other two. I haven't seen which way is up and I haven't seen bust and lose. So I don't, I don't know about, I don't know how the other two are, but I love Brewster's Millions. Hmm, that's really cool actually. Let, let me know about the other films, guys. Uh, more Scooby-Doo right here. Not that. Uh, Flintstones and Friends. Let's see what else they got here. Skin Traffic. With Mickey Rourke and Jeff Fahey. Hmm, what is this one? Mickey Rourke and Jeff Fahey. Hmm. This could be cool, but it could be kind of like a cheapo thing, too. I don't know. Hmm. hmm. Let's see about that one. What else is this? More skin traffic. Killing Jesus. Bat Masterson, starring Gene Barry. I have never heard of Bat Masterson before. I don't know. Good, bad? Mm, not sure at all. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, avatars. Ooh, Go. Go is fantastic. I love Go. Go is one of my favorites. Oh, I, I love this one a lot, guys. Oh it's, oh, it's awesome. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Go, do it. The Samaritan, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, very cool. Samuel L. Jackson is one born badass motherfucker. The Identical would... Here's the Joe Seth Green, Joe Pantoliano. Hmm. I have never heard of this one before. The Identical is... Hmm. It's got a lot of great actors in it. Never heard of it, though. You know, clever movie, entertaining, that should not be missed. Hmm. Never heard of it. Let me know what you guys think of that one. Uh, Night Moves with Jesse Eisenberg, Dakota Fanning. Hmm. Night Moves. Peter Sarsgaard. I like that one. It's not bad. Melancholia. You know what? I've watched a little bit of Melancholia, but I honestly didn't watch a lot of it because it kind of was a bore, so I stopped watching watching it. Should I, like, go back to it? Because I heard it was good, but it was kind of, like, tedious watching, and I couldn't get through it, but definitely let me know what you guys think. Yes, which I love you. Violet and Daisy, really great movie, really great mo movie, guys, I really do enjoy this one, Gandolfini is great in it, Trejo is great in it, very, very cool one, I like this one a lot, not, not bad, actually, oh, uh, Locker 13 with, with John Grease, I love John Grease, man, mm, A Passage to the Unknown, mm, what's this one about, well, that could be cool, hmm, could, could be cheapo, though. Hmm, I don't know. That one, they've got Excessive Force with Thomas Ian Griffith. Man, I really like Thomas Ian Griffith in um, John Carpenter's Vampires. He's really good in it. But I don't... I don't think I've seen him in many other films, actually. And I don't really know much about this one here. Hmm, that one's interesting. Excessive Force. That one might have to be a pickup, guys. It honestly might. Then over here they have Paper Towns, which we saw at one of the other Dollar Tree videos last time. We saw that one before. Beowulf. <laughs> Scooby-Doo and Kiss. They actually made a Scooby-Doo and Kiss one? God, that is so weird. Scooby-Doo, really? That's kind of cool, guys. I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, I would I would have never thought Scooby Doo and Kiss would team up, but go figure. Uh, Conan O'Brien can't stop. I've heard good things about this actually. I haven't watched it, but I do like Conan O'Brien. A really funny guy. I really like this. I really like him a lot actually. He's really cool with his stand up. Hmm, that's a cool one here. Uh, Freeloaders, producer of Super Troopers and Beer Fest. I have not heard of Freeloaders before. I've been here for a few days since 2005. Got the junior uh, group of slackers living for funeral works for his mansion. So let me find a lot of easier to take a pad. Huh. I have not heard of Freeloaders at all. There's a great cast here. Cliff Collins Jr., uh, Dave Foley, Jane Seymour, 
And I'm not the biggest fan of Olivia Munn, but that being said, it kind of looks cool. Hmm. Lucky, even a serial killer can win the lottery. Colin Hanks, Harry Grainer, and Margaret Duffy Tambor. Skillfully made and perfectly acted. Huh. That's not bad. That actually could be really cool. I like those actors a lot. Never heard of Lucky either. There have been a lot of stuff here that I've never heard of, guys. Like the power of few. I think I think we might have seen this at one of the other Dollar Tree videos as well. We might have, if I remember correctly. I think we did, and I haven't gotten a chance to actually watch it yet. But it does look interesting. Hmm. Some Yu-Gi-Oh! Transformers, Echoes of War, which we've seen before at some of the other locations in the past. Not bad. One Mile to You with Billy Crudup and Tim Roth. I think I heard of this one. I think I did hear about One Mile to You, but I haven't actually, like, sat down to watch it, but I have heard of it. One Mile to You. Hmm. There we go. I... Kiss a vampire right here. Hmm. Uh, we saw the movie and absolutely loved it. A... Hmm. I kiss a vampire. Nice. A rock m musical. The vampire rock musical that is what would happen if Glee and Twilight had a love child. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a weird combination, but I'll, I'll go with it. It kind of looks cool, guys. I don't know. I've never actually heard about this. And I like a good rock musical, too, so I, I'm kind of curious about this one. Let me know what you guys think of I Kissed a Vampire. Ooh, Bun Raku. I have seen Bun Raku. Very cool movie. I actually kind of like this one a lot. I think Ron Perlman's really kick ass in this. And, and so is actually Josh Hardnett and Woody Harrelson. Actually, this is a really cool little a action movie that I don't think many people really know about. Yeah, yeah, you guys got, definitely got to get on this if you haven't. Really, really good one. Little matchmakers with yeah, I haven't heard of any of these people. A mis a mismatch made in heaven. Oh, is this kind of like you know like they're 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 trying to get these two people together and they're opposites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, probably not for me. Hmm. Pass on that one. Uh, more Yu-Gi-Oh, the Motel Life. Emil Hurst, Steven Dorf, Dagon Benet, and Chris Christopherson. Damn. That look... Hmm. That one there. Well, that's interesting. Okay. I mean, we're winning... Oh, that's actually not bad. The, the, the motel life. Hmm. I like a good drama. That's actually not bad. Hmm. I like that one. Standoff with Brendan Fraser? Small time robbery, big time mess. Never heard of standoff e either, man. What is standoff about in this tale of a heist gone terribly wrong? I don't like ever. Oh, very interesting. Standoff, not bad. Huh. I do like a good Brenda Fraser movie, but I haven't seen him do anything in quite a while. Huh. Yeah, let me know about standoff, guys. Oh, Locker 13, Lullaby, which I believe we've seen at other Dollar Tree videos as well. New there. Wild Hearts, Dutch Kills. Uh, hmm, there's only one way. I've never heard of Dutch Kills. Who else they got? Lullaby, Wild Hearts, Yellow, Yellow Rock. Hmm. Got that. What else I got here? One Mile to You. A little game which we've seen before. Touching Home, Bunraku. More Yu Gi Oh! Deep in the Heart with Val Kilmer and John, another John Grease special, man, and DB Sweeney. Rocking the Stash and Val Kilmer rocking the Jesus look. Very interesting. A heartfelt, inspiring movie. A great story. Hmm. Another one I have not heard of at, at all. I do really love Val Kilmer, man. It's a shame about the whole throat cancer thing. Because he's really, really great. 
Yeah, I haven't heard about this one. I might have to give this one a chance at some point. Anything with Val Kilmer, I gotta at least try to get to watch because I really love him as an actor. Hmm. They got that. They got Young Riders, Yu-Gi-Oh. The Hangman's Curse. Frank Peretti's Hangman's Curse. Watch your locker. Watch your back. Watch your soul. Hmm. I, I have never heard of this one either, guys. This kind of looks cool. I like this. This kind of looks interesting. The Hangman's Curse. That's not bad. Hmm. That's not bad at all. Uh, let's see here. Six. Humble Pie. I've never heard of Humble Pie. A bittersweet new comedy. Huh. This is about Humble Pie. William Baldwin. I have not heard heard of this one. I've heard interesting things about these type of like independent films, and it looks like it's actually got a, gotten a lot of like awards and everything. But no, I've never heard about this one. I like the cover actually. The cover's really cool. Hmm. Little Loopers. Natalie and Bruglia. Didn't she? Didn't she make music? I thought she made music. This movie's about changes. Now, consider me shocked. I have never heard of Little Loopers as well. Interesting. Uh, let's see about that. A Bag of Hammers with Jason Ritter and Rebecca Hall. A comedy about good times and grand theft. Never heard of Bag of Hammers either. Um, 20 something slacker buddies, Ben, seem capable of growing up. Hmm. No, I've never heard of Bag of Hammers either. It's interesting. Let me know about that one. A lot of new, interesting ones I've never seen before, guys. Skin Traffic. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, which I've seen a ton of times at, like, whether we've seen it at pawn shop videos or something. Yeah, I've seen this movie all over the place. I'm not the hugest fan of the movie. It's decent, but I'm not in love with it either. Hmm. Memories of the Sword right here. Hmm. Memories of the Sword. I don't heard that one either. Superman. Jesus, WrestleMania Scooby-Doo original movie with... Get out of there, is that John Cena? What the fuck? John Cena? Is that like Vince McMahon or... <laughs> what the hell is this? Like, I thought the Kiss one was weird, but I guess the WrestleMania one is just as weird, too? Yeah, that's odd, man. Any of you fans of Scooby-Doo and wrestling, I guess this is right down your alley. Hmm. Um, uh, for life, the assassin masterpiece right there. Kind of interesting, actually. Hmm. For the assassin. Let's see, Batman: The Return of the Cape Crusaders. I heard about this one. I heard about this animated movie. I didn't get a chance to watch it. I didn't really know much about it or anything. But it was really cool that they brought, like, Adam West back and everything to voice the characters. And they, they brought a lot of the voice acting talent back of the same people who did the acting back in the day. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta check this out. Uh, man, that's really cool. I love the cover there, man. That's really cool stuff. God, I love that. All right. They have over here, they have Frank. The... Oh, this is the one where the guy is wearing that weird thing on top of his head. I believe, like, my Michael Fassbender is wearing it or something. Yeah, he's like a musician or something. Yeah, I, I remember this. However, I don't think I ever got a chance to watch it. It was one of those ones that caught attention because of him wearing that thing on his head. I've heard it was good, actually, but I never got a chance to watch it. Hmm. Frank. Yeah, Frank there. They got... Close range right here with Scott Atkins. Scott Atkins does a lot of these type of action stuff, so it's not really surprising to me. Scott Atkins, hmm, close range. They also have over here, they have the first season of Friday Night Lights. I, I'm not really huge into watching these type of shows, which is why I never watched it, but I'm not going to lie, guys. I kind of... I've heard good things over the years. People have told me that Friday Night Lights is actually a really great show to kind of get into. 
So I I don't know. I might give it a shot, a shot at some point. Hmm. Bring the lights. That's interesting. Uh, got that. And oh, very nice. Some Three Stooges. Very cool. Masters of Mayhem. Nice. Uh, oh, I'm liking that. Very, very cool here. Nice. Any good, any Three Stooges is good Three Stooges, in my opinion. Very cool stuff, guys. Very cool stuff, indeed. Alright, guys. Next thing I'm seeing over here is they have Wolves, the DVD right, right here. And, you know, I did end up seeing this movie, and... Yeah, honestly, I wasn't impressed by this movie. It, it's got some good actors. Jason Momoa is cool. Stephen McCaddy, really awesome. But, you know what? I found the, the wolf design really lacking. I, I didn't like it at all. I thought it looked really god-awful and terrible. And it's really just a melodrama with not much action to it. And I feel like Jason Momoa is completely wasted. Yeah, it's a real shame. I just feel like he's really, really wasted in this movie, as is most of the actors. It's cool cover, and I was really interested in it, but yeah, it kind of let me down. Uh, the Amityville Horror, the original Amityville Horror. Very, very cool movie. Lo love this movie. Old school, and I think a lot of people don't really like the old school type of 70s type of, of movies compared to the more modern stuff. But definitely give it a look. There's some really creepy moments in here. And Margot Kidder and James Brolin is awesome in this mo movie. Very, very cool stuff here. Got that. They got a 12 action movie pack here. What is in this thing? They've got Owen Direct, Death Blitz, War Inc., Avenging Angelo, Cyber Soldier Contract, Trespass, Diceman. Hmm. I don't know about this one, guys, because some of these are, like, action movies, but other of them, like, why is Trespass in here? Why is Trespass in here? And the Iceman, why is the Iceman in here? Even though the Iceman's a really good movie and I like it, I don't, like, it's not really considered an action movie. I mean, some of them are action films, I'll give you that, but others of them are not really action films. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about this one, guys. I... I mean, some, some of them I've seen, and some of them are good, and some of them could be really cheesy. Eh, kind of half and half on that one. Hmm. So then, yeah, some Ella the Elephant. More Scooby-Doo. Animal Odd Couples. Tom Jerry. Classic Cartoon Collections. A Killer 8-Pack. Hmm. What is in this? We have War of the White Vengeance, The Edge, Dead Heist Code. Okay, I'll, I'll be honest. This is this this pack makes more sense than the action pack. There's a lot of these movies that I haven't seen, but I'd be interested to check it out because there's some really good actors in here. You've got Antonio Banderas, Morgan Freeman, Jamon Hansu, Cuba Gooding Jr. I mean, there's some good good stuff here. A lot of these I haven't heard of. If you guys think that this is a great um, killer pack, definitely let me know. Hmm. But again, the problem that I have with these with these packs is that I just I don't know where to put it in like the collection. Do I put it in like K's under killer pack, or do I? How do I? How do you end up actually like or organizing these? Yeah, I I try to stay away from them, but there is could be some actually decent movies here. Hmm. Uh, the Extra Man. I've heard about this one, but I haven't seen it. I do really like Ke Kevin Klein a lot. And Paul Dano is really good. Hmm. Kevin Klein gives a master class in acting. You can't. Hmm. I wish Kevin Klein would do more work. He doesn't do much anymore. God, I wish he would. Hmm. Not bad. Not that. More than that. I'm the producer of American Pie Good Kids with. Who's in this? Oh, that guy from um, Happy Death Day to You, and and the first one. God, he's young in this. I haven't heard about this one. The Gigolo, the Knockout, the Virgin, and the Stoner. Yeah, it could be good, guys, or it could be a real piece of shit. I've seen a lot of movies that try to take like the American Pie aspect and make it something interesting and better, and they just can't do it. American Pie was sort of like almost the one thing you can't really recreate all that much. Never heard of Good Kids, though, but 
kind of looks at least fun. Hmm. Uh, King Arthur, Excalibur Rising. Hmm. Two brothers, one throne. Hmm. Not bad. Hmm. Not that. Uh, Tim and Eric's billion dollar movie. I have heard of this one too, but I never got a chance to see it actually. Um, I've heard this is a really fun film. I heard, yeah, really fun actually. But again, I I never got a chance to watch this one either, and with the slipcover too. Very nice. I like the, the I like the artwork though. The artwork is really cool, with them riding a a uh, a wolf for some reason. Oh, it's, it's interesting. I like this. This list looks cool. I gotta check this out at some point. I have heard good things though. I gotta check it out. Um, Paper Towns, Run Ricky Run, or Scooby Doo. Uh. Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift. I really do like Tokyo Drift. I think it's a really great movie. Better than most people give it credit for. Um, let's see. Tom and Jerry, Ernie, Superman, Alan Partridge. I do like Steve Coogan. Another one I have not watched. Yeah, there's a lot of these ones here at the Dollar Tree I have not watched. And Alan Partridge is another one. I saw a movie recently with Steve Coogan and uh, Paul Rudd that was kind of funny. So I do like him. Hmm, he doesn't get a lot of starring roles, though. Interesting. Andre Curious George. Palo Alto from Gia Coppola. With Emma Roberts, James Franco, Jack Kilmer. Based on the book, Palo Alto Stories by James Franco? No, I can't say I've actually heard of this movie. An instant classic. It kind of looked like one of those independent style movies that could win a lot of awards or something. I do like Franco, and I like Franco doing these sort of more big budget movies, and then he'll do more smaller stuff. I kind of like that. I don't know much about Palo Alto, though. Hmm. There's got that. Vampire there. I hate Valentine's Day, which I think we saw in another movie hunting video re uh, recently as well. They had a lot of success with that, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, and I think they wanted to come back and do another type of movie like this. But again, a movie like My Big Fat Greek Wedding, that's, that's a movie that only comes around ever so often, and you can't really replicate the success of that. But, you know, they, they try to give them credit. Hmm. Uh, Jack of the Red Hearts. Famke Jansen. Is it another one with the guy from Happy Death Day. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I never heard of this one. She unlocked the key to glory. No, never heard of this one either. Kind of looks kind of an interesting sort of melodrama, teenage drama type of movie. Hmm, no, well, never heard of that one either. Bunraku, Amityville Horror with the, with the, uh, insert there, with, with the artwork, not bad. To the Wonder, which we've seen before as well. I gotta give this a look. I really do like these movies, and Ben Affleck, man, is a really great actor. I, I gotta give this a look at some point. Little Pony, The Great New Wonderful, uh, hmm, a brilliant comedy. Never, man, they are getting in a lot of interesting titles that I've never heard of, guys. Hmm, this one looks interesting too. Hmm. Shapes, the avatars, four got ten, the good, the bad, and the dead, with my man Dolph and Danny Trejo, very cool, this kind of looks like a badass fucking movie, guys, the hunt will end in bullets, <laughs> oh, nice, I gotta admit, I'm kind of curious to check it out, but I'm not really sure, because as much as I love these guys, I can kind of smell a shit film sometimes from a mile away, and this might be one of them. Kind of one of those straight-to-DVD ones. Hmm, it's not bad. Uh, Deep in the Heart, The Flock. You know, I've noticed that Richard Gere does a lot of these sort of, like, dramatic action films. Like, the ones that are not terrible, but they're kind of generic. You know, he kind of does these type of ones. I, I do like Richard Gere, and Claire Danes actually is not a bad actress might be good i don't know i will admit i did see richard gear at like a local grocery store that i went to like a while back 
I wanted to go up to him, but I was like a little nervous because he was Richard Gere. So I just kind of stared weirdly at Richard Gere. I don't know. It was just a weird story. But I wish I would have met him, dude. I, I would have complimented him. I think he's a good actor, but he does a lot of these type of g g generic movies. Hmm. I think he's better than that. The Key Man, which we've seen before there. Uh, the Elephant Knuckles Award. Jane Home. Locker 13. Lullaby and Wallet Hearts. The Great Fight. Hmm. I had never heard of this one either. I think this film will have you thinking. Is that a serious street fighting? Huh. It's not bad. It'll be cool. Got that. And then over here they have Save the Date. Here. With Leslie Kaplan. Hmm. Never heard of Save the Date. Could be cool. Hmm. The Date, Turtle's Tale, Jack the Giant Killer. Oh, this is one of those, this is one of those, like, uh, asylum ones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is the, the Asylum, one of these, like, rip-off movies. The Asylum's done a lot of these, guys. They've done a lot of these weird, like, rip-off movies where, like, another movie's coming out. Like, that's going to be popular, and they end up doing, like, a, a knockoff version of it. Yeah, I I never really watched any of the Asylum stuff outside of some of the Sharknado stuff, but even that I wasn't a huge fan of, so probably will stay away from something like this. Uh, oh, God, Jungle All the Way 2, we'll pass on that. And the Giant Killer, Police Story, Police Story Lockdown. I think I saw that recently on one of the Out and Abouts or something, I think, I think I saw I do like Jackie Chan, and I I love a good Jackie Chan action movie. And I know he does a lot of really cool like stunts and shit. I gotta check this one out at some point. Hmm, one's not bad. Felony with Tom Wilkinson, Joel Edgerton, Jai Courtney, and Melissa George. Nice. Another one I haven't heard of. Kind of cool that it's on on Blu-ray. I love me Joel Ad Adgerton, man. Joel Edgerton is fantastic. I love Joel Joel Edgerton. What a what a great fucking actor, dude. Never heard of this one either, but it kind of looks kind of cool. That definitely let me know if you guys have seen this one. Then you got a two movie double feature of Running with Scissors and the Squid and the Whale. I've only seen Squid and the Whale, which is a really phenomenal film, uh, but I have not seen Running with Scissors. Hmm, interesting there. Hmm, Running with Scissors, I did that. Snow Girl on Blu-ray. Behind the Lines, Seal Team 8. Ah, you know what? I, I want to give more movies with Tom Sizemore a chance because I t generally ten, tend to like Tom Sizemore, but he doesn't really... He seems kind of bored when he's acting nowadays. He doesn't it's, it's he doesn't really give it his all anymore, which is a real shame because he is a good good actor. Well, that's a shame. Hmm. The remake of RoboCop right here. Oh, um, not as terrible as everybody says, but not great either. It definitely pales in comparison to the original film. Um, and you notice that this film, I think, bombed at the box office, so we never actually got another film in the, the RoboCop series. Thank God, because we didn't really need it. In fact, we didn't really even need the remake, to be honest with you. Uh, then they have RoboCop, the original on Blu-ray, with the insert there. I think this is coming on Criterion, if I believe. Uh, yeah, I think they announced it that it's kind of anticipated release of RoboCop on Criterion. I mean, if you guys don't want to pay the price, they have it here for a dollar, but uh, they're going to do a great job, Criterion is, on RoboCop, so I would definitely be picking that one up, guys. And I do have the Blu-ray of this already, so for me, it's going to be actually not really an upgrade, more of the same thing, but with Criterion, it's definitely considered an upgrade. But if you don't, hey, a dollar. Can't beat it. Uh, the Warrior's Way... Billionaire Ransom, Outthink, Outmaneuver, and Outlive with Jeremy Sumter, Sebastian Koch. Hmm. Billionaire Ransom. I have not heard of this one either. Hmm. Interesting. Billionaire Ransom. Uh, let's see here. Duplicity, which I was not a huge fan of Duplicity. I like Julie Roberts and Clive Owen, but for some reason, this really didn't do much for me. It's supposed to be this sort of caper film with them and... This sort of fun and clever back and forth, but yeah, I didn't really like it all that much. I don't know why. It wasn't my thing. Uh, Twixt. 
I remember actually watching Twix because I wanted to watch it because of Francis Ford Coppola and Val Kilmer. And I'm not going to lie, guys, I really did not like this one. Um, Twix is not really all that good. It's it's kind of it's kind of lack luster. It's very cheapo and kind of lack luster, unfortunately. So, yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of Twix, to be honest with you. I I wish I could say really good things because I really do like Francis Ford Coppola, but this one just felt kind of lack luster to me. Real shame. Um, paper towns, more paper towns right here, guys. A ton of paper towns. Uh, we got uh, oh the Lazarus effect. God, what a piece of crap the Lazarus effect is. Oh God. Yeah, this is this is a terrible movie. I mean, even for a dollar, I, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't do it even for a dollar, man. Yeah. Ugh, what a terrible, terrible movie. I saw this in the movie theaters with Bob, actually. Now, now that I'm thinking of it, I saw it in the movie theater with Bob, and we just flat out, like, came out of the movie in, in, in anger. We hated this movie so much. What a what a crap fest of a horror movie. Let's stay away from that one. Uh, Lazarus Effect. They got a ton of Lazarus Effect. Twixt. There's the sword. Paris. Hmm. Never seen this one before. I do like movies that are set in Paris. I like that Woody Allen one, which I really did like that one a lot. That one's really good. Hmm. Not bad. The Marine 3 Homefront with The Miz, baby. Man, I think he's been the one that's been carrying this franchise. Because I think there was a recent out and about I did where he, there was like another Marine film. I don't know, like Marine 5 or 6 or something. God, they keep on making these movies. I don't know if they're even good or not. I haven't watched anything after the first one. But they, they keep on making, so somebody's watching them. I don't know. Uh, Safe Haven. Hmm. Safe Haven. Oh, it's one of those kind of Nick, Nicholas Sparks ones. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these type, type, type of movies. The only one good is, is The Notebook. Beyond that, I can't say I really like these type of movies, guys. Uh, you got a double feature of The Killing Season and Red Lights. You got a De Niro fix right here. I honestly, to be honest with you, I've watched both of them. I, I kind of like Killing Season a little bit better. I, I, I think him and Travolta are fantastic in The Killing Season. Red Lights... Uh, the Red Lights is okay. I don't love Red Red Lights. It's kind of an interesting movie, but um, Killing Season is much more much more of a movie that I would definitely recommend over Red Lights. Hmm. Season Howl. Ooh, the Blu-ray here of Howl. I've never seen this movie, guys, but I've heard only good things about it, and I love a good werewolf movie. Where something like Wolves was not very good. I've heard only great things about Howl, and it's really cool that it's on, on Blu-ray here. That is really awesome here. I have heard really great things about Howl, and the werewolf design actually looks really cool here. Yeah, I gotta definitely check this one out, man. I have heard good things, so I gotta give, give it a look. I really do. Red lights, the innkeepers. I watched the innkeepers in the theater, and I wasn't really a fan of the innkeepers. I, I didn't really... I don't know, it's it's not terrible, but I wasn't really a huge fan of the movie. It felt over dramatic and it and a little slow for my liking. It's got an interesting concept. I like the creepiness, but it didn't really do much for me. Uh, the innkeeper, innkeeper's howl, battle scars, which looks interesting. Battle scars looks interesting here. It's not bad. Battle scars. Cavalry, Brendan Gleeson, always, always a great actor, worth checking out his work. Interesting. Hmm. Cavalry, Joan Rivers, a piece of work. Yeah, Joan Rivers is a piece of work. Um, it must be one of those documentaries. I never heard of Joan Rivers' piece of work, but it could be cool. Hmm, never heard of it. Uh, Warrior's Way, Warrior's Way, Felony. Robocop without the slip right there. Not bad. Uh, sorry, and there's... Hmm, actually really great selection here, guys. My God, man. I I am in love with this with this selection here, guys. I really am. Wow, I was not expecting this, guys. But really, really cool. All right, let's head out. Wow, guys, there is so much stock here at this Dollar Tree. 
I would have never thought for a single second that it was going to be this much stuff to show off here. I thought it was going to be like maybe a box here or a box there of titles, but the stuff that we showed was a lot of stuff, guys. There was so much stuff to check out at this Dollar Tree. I don't know if it can get any better than this. I mean, we'll definitely go out and at least go to one more location to kind of check out what they have. But man, I am really impressed, guys. Seriously, seriously impressed. And I also found something else. If you want to be badass and kick ass like Alita Battle Angel, you need some green tea, baby. Yeah. <laughs> the stuff you can find at Dollar Trees, guys. Very amazing stuff here. Love the selection so much. Fantastic. Let's head to the next location and hopefully the luck is even more than we had here, guys. Let's head out. All right, everybody, we are at our second Dollar Tree location here, and my God, man, uh, color me surprised so far because the selection has been way better than even I would have thought, and Dollar Tree has been really good with selection these past couple times that I've went, but this time, man, they've really had a lot of really interesting and awesome stuff, so now it's time to go into the next Dollar Tree location, guys. What do we find? Some of the same stuff as before, newer stuff, more oddball releases. Well, you never know. So let's head inside and find out. All right, guys, we are in this Dollar Tree here and damn, they look a little bit wiped right, right here. It looks like they have been like wiped out. People have definitely been taking a lot of titles off of here. It, there's been good titles this time around, so I can't blame people. Uh, first thing I'm seeing is they got this 3430 series, volume 2, film 16 through 30. I don't know what is on this thing. I have some of the best films of 2010 here. Huh. You know, I've, I've heard of a lot of the ESPN 30 for 30 films, but honestly, I've never actually watched any of them. Some of them actually did look kind of interesting, but I never got a chance to. This is actually really cool that they have this really big box for that stuff, man. Wow. That's really awesome, guys. And, and this is only a dollar. This is a dollar, man. That's fucking crazy. That's really cool. Uh, you also have Travel the World with Kids. It's really like metal pack of five DVDs here. Oh, that is interesting with kids. All kinds of, well, that's really cool, actually. Not sure I would be into this, but if you had kids or something, this is actually really cool. And a five DVD set for, again, a dollar for kids. That, that's great. That's really cool, man. Uh, you got, let's see, you got To the Wonder. We saw that. Great New Wonderful. Bunraku. Amityville. Aviators, Tim and Eric Billion Dollar Movie. Uh, you got Lullaby, Wild Hearts, Good Kids, King Arthur, Matchmakers. A lot of the same stuff we're actually seeing from the last place. Uh, identical. They also have another ESPN Films Collection Volume 1. A five-disc collector set right here as well. Wow, that's actually really cool, man. Damn. Another ESPN, again, in a five-disc set for a dollar, that's actually a great price, man. Again, I'm not usually into these type of things, but if you guys are, check your Dollar Tree, man. A dollar is a great price for that. Uh, Violet and Daisy. Oh, they got The Judge. Um, you know what? I saw the movie. I didn't love it. I like Robert Down Downey, and Robert Duvall is great. I just... I don't know, I, I thought it was a little melodramatic, and I didn't, I thought the story was a little boring at times. It could have been a cool movie, and I don't hate it, and I love Robert Downey, but uh, it's, it's okay. It's worth at least one watch, but I can't say that I'd ever really ever watch it again. Hmm. And we got the judge right there, then we got, see what we got over here, we've got Operation Neighborhood Watch with Denise Richards? Hmm. Okay. Someone's got to keep an eye on things, and it's those kids. With a fucking lion? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? Uh, Denise Richards, man, outside of a couple of roles she's done, I can't say I really liked anything she's done, but... Eh, okay. I mean, could be cool. Uh, you've got Night Moves here... Yu-Gi-Oh, 
One Mile to You, Ella the Elephant, the vampire rock musical there, Bun Raku. I wish they had the Blu-ray of Bun Raku, because, man, I'd buy the Blu-ray of that, but... Uh, the Power of Few, Go again, dude, give Go a chance, please. I love Go, man, one of the best fucking movies that I really love, man. Love this fucking movie so much. I, I own the DVD of it already, but if you haven't, give it a chance. Uh, Motel Life, Palo Alto, Key Man, Melancholia, Rio, I Love You, right here. 21 Grams, Babel, City of God, You. From the producer of Paris and New York. Not heard of this one either. The third episode of the Cities of Love franchise, Rio. Hmm. Rio is, is beautiful. I know they did like one of the Fast and the Furious movies in Rio, and that was really cool. Um, Imagine Home, Echoes of War. Unlocker Rio. Uh, I also got over here Orange, that 12 action movie pack. Which, by the way, I mean, it, it's only a dollar. That's not a bad price, guys, honestly. That's pretty good. Uh, the Elephant, Amityville, more Amityville, Roll Tide, Frank, uh, more Frank there, which is a really odd movie, but again, really interesting. I, I might have to pick that one up. I might. Three Stooges, Skin Traffic, Rose for Life. A lot of the same stuff that we're seeing, but that, that Cape Crusader one does look really awesome, though. Uh, Adventure Club. This looks cool. If I was a kid, this probably would be something that looks really cool. I, I like that. That's not bad. Adventure Club. Hmm, that's interesting. Scooby-Doo, Beowulf. Snow Girl, a lot of the same stuff again we were seeing. Nothing really crazy different exactly. Walter Mitty, Indian Summers, some John Wayne here. The Duke rides again with six classic films. Damn. Again, man, that's really cool because again, a dollar, dude. A dollar for this kind of stuff is really awesome, man. Oh, that you've got more Jingle All the Way too. Definitely not. Um, more Wolves, uh, Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift, Superman Unbound, an eight duty calls pack here with Bad Lieutenant, Cyborg Soldier, Day Zero, Desert Saints, uh, and U.S. Seals. Honestly, the only one here that I've really seen has been Bad Lieutenant, and Bad Lieutenant is awesome, but I think this actually probably is a better pack than the actual one because Duty Calls is more of like these people, cops and dirty cops and everything like that. It probably is very, very cool. Again, for, for eight films for a dollar, I mean, can you really go wrong? I mean, it's not bad at all. Uh, Kiss, Superman, Cartel War, Never heard of Cartel War. I like the cover. With two guys with guns and some really hot chick with shades on. <laughs> okay. Choose your side. Very cool here. What? Led by a detective helping on revenge. Uh, that could be cool. It's not bad. Cartel War. Not bad at all. Could be no, no, Could be cool, I think. Here's a little drift. Musical Mayhem. Alan Partridge. Paper Towns, Run, Ricky, Run, Extra Man. Yeah, a lot of the same stuff that we saw everything else. Unfortunately, it looks like this this one was really picked over, guys, unfortunately. I think, I, you know, honestly, and I swear to God, and I'm not e even lying to, uh, to you guys now, I think the Dollar Tree Blu-rays and DVDs now are so popular that basically... They they just go in, in like an instant now. They're so popular, people just grab at them. Because it's only a dollar, so you can't really blame them, guys. I mean, it's honestly, it's a great deal. There's some really cool stuff to check out, guys. I think, you know, if you guys go to your Dollar Tree, definitely give it a look. Really well done, guys. Yeah, man, we saw a lot of great selection. And, uh, you know, and hey, they're going to go fast. So definitely take advantage of it. So guys, I ended up actually talking to somebody that works in the Dollar Tree store here and they said that they ended up putting out their stock early today and people were just ravaging it like crazy. They were really going at it. They were like just 
like buying up everything and so much stuff and so that just goes to show you guys that basically in a nutshell these Dollar Tree sales on the Blu-rays and DVDs they are hugely popular somebody told me that they had a ton of Blu-rays here this morning and now there's nothing left so I'm telling you guys that this is a deal like the more people know about it the more they're just gonna go for it for it big time so I'm not surprised and pretty much I assume that most of the same stuff that we would have seen at the last Dollar Tree we would have seen here anyways but it just goes to show you that you know you really have to come to these places early because once you get here later it is gone man it is absolutely gone so it's kind of cool to see the first place that we went to which had just put the stock out versus a Dollar Tree that has put it out for a while and now it's completely gone that shows you th the difference of just how fast things will go at the Dollar Tree man it is crazy insane here but it is still really cool the Dollar Tree's had a lot of really wonderful stock here guys I was really happy with what I saw I hope you guys were too let's head home and finish the video all right everybody I am back home now from going to the Dollar Tree stores and you know I did go to one more Dollar Tree location to check out if they had anything new or different to show off and yeah guys they did not have anything different to really show me and the crazy thing about it is that that location was more picked over than the second place that I went to and it's just kind of crazy because the more that this sale goes on the more that the Dollar Tree gets in these Blu-rays and DVDs and the more popular the sale gets and people really know about it, it just feels like like people are just hoarding up on these titles. They are just going in, in and just grabbing whatever they can. And I can't say that I blame them, guys. I mean, I saw people today who was taking like four or five Blu-rays and DVDs and just grabbing them and just putting them right in their cart, man because this sale is literally a steal I mean you get this stuff for a dollar and if you find this stuff at like a Best Buy or a Walmart or an FYE or something you're gonna pay a lot more money for this stuff or even if you find these titles because I'm not gonna lie a lot of these titles that I saw today I've I've never seen them in the Best Buys or the Walmarts or any of those places. I mean, these are titles that you don't get to see out a lot. So the fact that you can get them for a dollar, the fact that, you know, they have some really interesting and unique titles to come out in these Dollar Tree stores, why not take advantage of it? So I, I can't blame people for doing it. And, I mean, it, it just goes to show you that, I mean, people are really anticipating this every single time that they have this sale every two or three months. They, they really are excited about it. And, uh, you know, it, it really is just a steal for a dollar. It really is just a, one of the best deals around. And you can get some really great titles. So it is worth it to go out and check these places out, guys. If your Dollar Trees are as busy as mine are, I don't know if there's any titles left to be had, but definitely go and check it out. I mean, there's some really cool stuff as you saw in the video, so it's definitely worth it to at least go and give it a look and see what you might find if there's a lot of stock left, because they were going pretty fast today, guys. And I have to admit that I was really lucky it, at that first Dollar Tree location to get there when I did because they were just putting out the physical media when I got there. And when I mean they were just putting it out, guys, they were still taking the the Blu-rays and DVDs from the boxes and putting them on the display themselves just as I got there. So if I did not have luck on my side at that very moment, if I decided to get there maybe an hour or two later, I don't know if we would have seen the selection that we did. So I got to give it up to luck. The, the physical media gods out there were shining down on me, at least for that location. I was really happy about that. So, so thank you. And uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of titles to take advantage of, guys. And I did pick up some titles, guys. I did not walk away with nothing. I did grab some titles here from the first location. I picked up two titles. And I got 
the first title which I was really in anticipating picking up because I honestly, it just looks cool. And the more I sort of look at it, I'm like, damn, I'm damn glad I picked it up because it really does kind of look cool. And it is excessive force right here. I thought it looked cool when I showed it off in the first store, man, with Thomas Ian Griffith. I was like, okay, I've never seen anything else with him. I kind of got to check it out. And not only that, but I was looking on the back here, and there's a lot of amazing actors in this thing. Along with him, you've got Lance Henriksen, you've got James Earl Jones, you've got Tony fucking Todd in this, man. Like, there's a lot of really great actors in this sucker. I am really anticipating checking this thing out. It looks like a really cool gem from back in the day that I definitely have to check out and watch. I'm like, yeah, this is something I've definitely got to pick up, man. If you guys have seen Excessive Force, definitely let me know. Am I in for greatness or not so much? The actors alone, I at least got to gotta check it out. It's at least worth a watch at least once. So, yeah, this looks really cool. I'm definitely down for some good um, cheesy action here with some really great actors. Definitely some cool stuff there, guys. And the other title that I picked up was the Blu-ray of Howl right here. And oh man, like I told you guys, I have heard nothing but good things about this title. I love a good werewolf movie. I feel like we haven't really gotten a really good werewolf movie in a really long time, now that I'm thinking about it. And like I said, when I saw wolves out there, you know, at the location, uh, you know, Wolves is not really all that great of a movie. It, you know, it had a lot of potential, but it failed. And I feel like Howl has the potential to be really cool. And again, I've heard nothing but good things. A lot of people really do like this movie. And so I love the cover here. I I love just the, the, the back here. And I really lo love it a lot. Um, there's some behind-the-scenes footage. There's making of featurettes here. So I'm definitely anticipating enjoying this title like i said hopefully i'll i'll love it but for a dollar i can't go wrong so i got howl here and again excessive force two pretty good titles here uh that i picked up i'm very happy with my choices guys i'm not gonna lie and i hope you guys found some good stuff at the dollar trees as well definitely let me know what you guys picked up again Oh, they are going fast, guys. This is a big, big sale. They are going fast. So there's, you know, you better get to your location fast because they might not be there when you get there, guys. Not going to lie. And one more thing before I let you go. Um, so this, I'm glad I got to do the video for you guys because, to be honest with you, the last time that the Dollar Tree had their sale going on. They had the Blu-rays and DVDs in, I think, like, October or November of last year. I was not able to do this, to do it, to show off the stuff. And the reason why was because I went to a couple of Dollar Tree locations and they denied me filming. I went in there and they literally said, you cannot film in here. We do not allow you to film. Uh, you know, you can't film in here. And so I was shocked. I had done it before, I had no problems, and I just got stonewalled completely. And so I sent an email to corporate about it. They ended up getting back to me saying that they do not allow filming in their Dollar Tree locations. They, it's, it's, it's prohibited. They don't do it. And so I thought that I was never going to do another Dollar Tree video again. I was like, okay, I guess that's it. Thankfully, I was able to go to at least a couple locations this time and show stuff off to you guys. There were some people that were really nice to me at some of the places. And I'm really thankful that there's some real nice people who understand what I'm trying to do here. And... To let you guys know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do another Dollar Tree video after this. It's getting really tough to do these videos, guys. You know, it's really weird because in my state, the law pretty much says I can film in public places as long as I'm not uh, filming other people without their consent. It seems simple, right? But you go into these places like Dollar Trees and for some reason, I end up being the bad guy. They're like, no, you can't show off the Blu-rays and DVDs here. That's, no, that's, uh, that's terrible. That's, you know, that, that's not allowed. That's, that's wrong. And I'm, 
I'm now being stonewalled by these places. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to do another Dollar Tree video for you guys, but if I only go to one or two locations, don't fault me for it guys because it's getting again harder to do these videos and I feel like these places are really cracking down because they do not like anybody holding a camera in these stores. Even though I'm promoting their stuff out there, I'm putting the word out, you would think you would think I'm public enemy number one. You would you would think that's going on, but that's it's it's really ridiculous. It's really terrible. If any of you out there are employees of the the Dollar Tree, if you know anyone who's an employee of the Dollar Tree, can can you explain this to me? Can you explain to me why it's so tough for somebody like me to just show off Blu-rays and DVDs of titles and nothing else? I can't. You know why is it such a problem? It's, it really has become a hassle, and after the last time that I was denied, I, I felt like I was probably not going to do another Dollar Tree video, but thankfully, I got one out to you guys, and again, if I, if I, if I don't do another one ever again, well, it's, I'm not sad about it, it happens, but if I do one, it may be only one or two locations like this time, because... Uh, like I said, they're cracking down big time, guys. They really honestly are. So I was lucky even to do this video. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the video, what you think of the selection and the titles, and what you guys picked up. Definitely let me know. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Check out the movie hunting videos that I've done. I've got a whole playlist of all of the movie hunting videos I've done, so definitely check those out. Check out the Tuesday Blu-ray and DVD out and about videos I do every single Tuesday. I show off all of the new releases plus all of the oddball interesting titles that I find along the way. Also, check out the movie reviews that I do with my friends as well, plus so much more content that's on the channel. If you love movies and physical media hit subscribe and become part of the film fan nation oh man i have a passion and they love talking about movies guys and the love and the comments that i get back from the subscribers is just absolutely amazing and i can't thank the everybody enough it's it's been a wild ride doing this and sometimes you wonder to yourself whether it's worth it at the end of the day and then i upload a video and then the comments I get and then the support just makes me, you know, really just feel like all the effort that goes into this really is worth it. So I do appreciate it a ton, guys. I really honestly do. And yeah, and you can make sure to catch all the stuff that I do on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Film Fan 108. In fact, I did, just to let you guys know, the last time the Dollar Tree did a... Um, a sale for the Blu-rays and DVDs and I was not allowed to film I actually ended up doing a little short video on the Film Fan 108 Facebook page talking about that if you guys have not checked that video out definitely do it on the Facebook page um, I explained why I got denied and the frustrations behind it so there is that video out there as well if you guys have not caught that one yet either definitely catch that one there and I will see you back next time for another movie hunting video. Guys, definitely go to your Dollar Tree locations. They have some really cool stock this time around. Hopefully you pick up something cool. And I will see you back next time. Take care, guys. Happy hunting.